Hi, I'm Rich from Dubai Nice 2 and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple nutritious mushroom soup with some great ingredients you can find in your local spinnies. Okay, so for this recipe all you need is 55 grams of good quality butter, you need about 30 grams of flour, um, some beautiful mushrooms, these are already pre-sliced from spinnies, you're going to need about 450 grams of those, a small bit of fresh thyme, some gorgeous fresh parsley, 600 milliliters of milk, a dash of cream and I've already got some chicken stock cooking, about 600 milliliters of chicken stock but you could use vegetable stock. If you had a dairy intolerance you could use alternatives to these. What I love about spinneys is all the prepared vegetables. It makes a chef's life so easy, like these diced onions. However, when you're making any soup, the key to doing it is to make sure that your vegetables are cut up as small as possible. So when you cook them in the butter, they really caramelize and all the sweetness and flavor comes out. Make sure you have a sharp knife and just slice the mushrooms extra thin, bring them into a small dice. Okay, so into a pan, add yourself 55 grams of butter and sweat that down, melt that down. If you're worried about it burning, just add a tablespoon of olive oil and that'll stop it burning, okay? So what we want to do is we want to cut the vegetables up as small as possible. This goes with any soup we make, whether it's potato, leek or mushroom um, or vegetables. So into the butter as it starts to foam, you're just going to add about 450 grams of finely diced mushrooms. You can use butter mushrooms, you can use fancy mushrooms. I always use white mushrooms, they're nice and cheap and you can find them all year round at Spinney's. To that, 110 grams of finely diced onion and just combine the two and just let salt it away. After salting for about two, three minutes, just add a few fresh thyme leaves just to the mushrooms and allow them to just steam in the mushrooms and the onions. Add 30 grams of flour. We're adding this just to make a blonde roux. So basically, this is your thickening agent for the soup. So combining with the butter, the flour will actually thicken and will absorb all of the mushroom goodness. Now to this, we're gonna add 600 milliliters of stock. I'm gonna use chicken stock, but you can use vegetable stock if you like to. You can either make fresh stock from chicken bones or you can use from bullion or stock cubes. As long as you dissolve it in water and just heat it up, because the best thing to do is add hot stock to this. So we're gonna add 600 milliliters straight away. Allow the soup to simmer for about two, three minutes before we add 600 milliliters of cold milk. Just incorporate it and again bring it to a simmer and then we're going to season it and we're going to blend it. After the soup's simmered for about five minutes, take it off the heat and now it's fine, but we're going to blend it. a very smooth soup so I blend mine perfectly but you can leave it with a few chunks in if you want. Most important thing now to do is to test the soup and make sure we season it correctly. If you're using a stock cube you might find it a little bit saltier so that's where you need to test it with a clean spoon. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of black pepper. Use white pepper if you like, same thing. White pepper you won't see the pepper. A tiny bit of salt, sea salt. Again, if you're using a stock cube, it will already be very salty. Give it a whisk, and at the moment, your soup is good to go. However, I like something a little bit luxurious. I like it creamy, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit of double cream. That's just gonna make this a cream of mushroom soup. Layer your soup into a bowl with some nice fresh parsley, and a little bit of thyme as garnish. And there you have a gorgeous soup, thanks to the guys from Spinney's.